Okay, this troubleshoot is kind of uh, specific to the model GMP Janitrol made by Goodman. The GMP model was a GMP 050 for 50,000, 075 for 75, 100 for 100,000, and 125 for 125,000. All the same furnace, uh, have just a different number of burners and bigger fans and so on. Uh, the things I've seen in the field with these, uh, the one thing, and this probably uh, include most any of the furnaces built in the early 1990s, if they're vented with single wall pipe like this instead of B vent, which is a double wall pipe, it's probably rusted out the pipe. So you want to check that out when you first come in. Other common problems, the inducer, inducers tend to, because they had paint on them, the paint came off and it would get into the uh, into the inducer housing and sometimes uh, upset the flow. One other thing, this little fitting right here, that fitting used to uh, rust and uh, it would get uh, plugged. And so, very commonly you'd see a pressure switch problem and it wasn't a pressure switch, it just didn't have any vacuum. So if you use your manometer, you'll find that. Uh, these furnaces were very quick to limit out. Uh, so if they had a plug filter, they would limit very quickly. That's common with them. The standard things with flame rods and hot surface igniters are all there. But the worst problem with this furnace is the heat exchanger. Uh, heat exchangers on most of these things split apart. And they could produce carbon monoxide. So you're going to look for that in the burners. Other than that, these furnaces weren't too bad. I didn't see a lot of problems with them other than the heat exchanger problems, which was plenty bad enough. Uh, but that's about the only things I saw on the GMP. Uh, but definitely look at the heat exchanger in any GMP you get to. Because uh, it is probably broken.